Kansas anglers are taking added precautions with the spread of aquatic invasive species. The state of Kansas recently passed tougher boating policy in an effort to stop the spread of invasive species in Kansas waters. I think the state's done a good job as far as zebra mussel control. I think they've done as good as they can do. Uh, I believe that it's up to the individual boat owner, be it Party Cove on Perry or somebody crappie fishing on Perry and decide they're going to go to Clinton and, and, and fish the next day. You know, the state can, can, cannot control what these individual boaters do. Uh, we're already seeing the spread, you know, it's gone from Perry, now they've located them in Milford. Uh, I wouldn't bet the house on Clinton not having them right now. I, I firmly believe that, that Northeast Kansas will be covered up with them. Boaters make the most impact at the boat ramp by thoroughly cleaning their boats and live wells. The state of Kansas is trying to uh, come up a way to prevent the spread of zebra mussel by uh, allowing and educating the public on how it transfers from one lake to the other lake. And so I, I think that the, uh, the um, state is trying, but they're so microscopic that they're transferred by just by going from one lake to another lake on trailers. And the way to prevent part of that is to make sure you clean your trailer good. The microscopic species are difficult to manage once introduced in an aquatic ecosystem. I think it's really important for people who are involved in like water quality management to think of ways of controlling like invasive algaes like dynamo and other invasive species um, like carp. I know carp are a problem in the Kansas River and uh, there's a few ways they can do that. They can either try to like introduce a different species from a different from a range that might control the invasive species, but it's it's always a complicated issue because they don't want to mess around too much with the natural the natural food chain. For Kansas Afield, I'm Trevor Graff.